What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. On the screen right now you can see me changing a couple of centre backs and putting in a couple of different or putting in a different centre back uh, in the team and getting rid of Kasper Schmeichel. I was going to use him in this team, I just don't like him. I just don't like Kasper Schmeichel. So the team on the screen right now is what we're using, a couple new team of the season cards. I can't remember honestly if we did, I've done so much over the last few hours a few days, sorry, that I don't know what I have recorded and what I haven't and what I've talked about before and what I haven't. So this might be a bit of a mess of an episode, I apologise. But we are using the bronze um, team of the season that I packed. We're using the Jorgensen centre-back in the team. And in general, we are using, again, another you know another couple of players. Um, I, 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 think, I think I was... I think I was 8-1. and one. 7 and 1. I think I was 7 and 1 when I started playing this, uh, this games right here. I could be mistaken on that. Um, but anyway, welcome to the video. If you could drop a thumbs up, guys, it would be very much appreciated. Um, I know you guys are... A lot of people are still enjoying this, and, and I think a lot of people are enjoying the, uh, the, the team of the season and stuff. The team of the season most consistent has been pretty depressing so far. I'm not going to lie. It's been pretty... Um, just no hype at all. I, I talked about this on Reddit. I talked about this on Twitter. I personally feel like EA need to change how they do the team of the season most consistent promotion because it just like it. No one cares. There's only like five players in the whole of the team of the season most consistent that are worth more than discard. Um, two of those are worth about forty to fifty k. Uh, then you got Sanson's worth like ninety k. Carver Howe's like one thirty, and then Vertonghen is like one eighty. And EA like released. Um, like 125k packs and I'm thinking who really in their right mind is going to open those because even if you packed five team of the seasons if they were all the discard ones you still wouldn't make your money back on the pack so it's not worth it so I think they need to do something a little bit different the only thing that I will say that might be worth it for these uh, team of the season cards that are the, the low price is if EA do something that requires team of the seasons in a squad builder challenge then there'll be big, big value for money, that low, because you'll be able to buy loads and either sell them on for profit or use them in the squad builder. But so far, um, Team of the Season most consistent has been relatively underwhelming. I was expecting a little bit more. I was expecting an SBC. I was expecting... Um, I, I, I don't know what I was expecting. I'll tell you what I wouldn't mind. Like the, the, You know how you have a 100k pack for gold cards? Why not have a, and the equivalent for silver and bronze packs as well? Just do like just something different. But it's the same as last year. The Ruddy or Rudy um, tournament that's starting today as you're watching this and goes on through this week. That's going to be quite interesting. That'll be fun to win that. But once you've won that, that's that done as well. And then you have to wait till the next thing starts. And it's so far. I'm 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 pumped for team of the season because of the players that I know I'm going to be able to use that are going to be fun to use that I've never used before. But I am underwhelmed by the uh, the amount that EA are doing for us. I was expecting SBCs daily, some unique SBCs, something fun, some easy stuff, some hard stuff. I was expecting to have some things where I didn't, um, I wasn't able to complete it on the road to glory because it was just too expensive. You know, maybe like a premium player, and maybe that stuff is due to come. But as is right now, it's not here. So, um, yeah, for those of you that are still here watching the series, thank you for being here. I promise you it's going to get better. It's going to get more fun throughout Team of the Season as I build more teams and try more things. Now, we've got some comments. Thomas Draddy says, Hey, Nep, I would love to hear your thoughts on my theory for Sun's potential Team of the Season card since EA have made this Player of the Month card so cheap despite Player of the Month Lukaku costing about 700k and has arguably worse stats. The fact that he wears arguably worse stats is absolutely irrelevant. That that's I don't, you know he's a different player, different position, like just di just different, just completely different. I don't think that has any bearing. But you say I believe this surely means that he will get a team of the season, since I doubt they would have two viable Son cards out at the same time. I believe that it will, will, he will be the 24th team of the season card, able to be one in a daily knockout tournament. Again, would love to hear your opinion. Um, the, the value of Son is weird. I'll say that. For an 89 rated player with stats better than Ronaldo, um, right now on Footbin, he's 180,000 coins if you have nothing, um, and he is 110,000 coins worth of packs back. So for, for that, for the fact that he's better than Ronaldo, and in my opinion, he is actually a better card than Ronaldo. I, I enjoy him thoroughly. Uh, I find him to be better than Ronaldo. It is a strange one for EA to come out and just be like, hey, look, this is how cheap he is. Um, so that would indicate that there potentially could be a team of the season son. 
Um, however, I was I was looking at I asked on Twitter who does everyone think other than Hazard might be the left forwards, and I also said to exclude Sanchez because I feel like he's going to be a striker. And the two um, main choices were Son and Coutinho. Now Coutinho has played quite a few games in the centre of midfield for Liverpool as well, so I don't know if even he's going to be a left wing. However, if it was between Son and Coutinho, they both have 12 goals this season. Coutinho has seven assists to the four assists of Hume and Son. Coutinho has created 64 chances to the 40 chances of uh, Hyung Min Son. And Coutinho has 57 key passes to the 36 key passes of Hyung Min Son. And Coutinho has played in two less games. Um, however, he actually does have more minutes played, um, which might be important but might not be. So, if, based on just those primary stats, and I'm not saying that that is everything or all the things or anything, um, but it seems like Coutinho has just been better than Hyung Min Son this season. I know Son's won two Player of the Month awards, which must go some way to like raising his stock for a chance at a Team of the Season card. Um, but uh, it, it does seem like Coutinho might be the better player. So, in terms of who the 24th Premier League player will be, I don't think the winnables will be beast players. I think they're going to be like this Rudy card. I think they'll be 87 rated, all of them, maybe an 88 or a 90 rated here or there. But I think, in general, they're going to be like the, the, the bottom tier of player with quite good stats, but not amazing stats. That's my opinion, and I could be wrong on that, because Aubameyang, Royce, and Conor Plianka from the Futties last year that you could win... Um, they were like exceptional, so there is an, there is something that could say, okay, maybe there will be some exceptional players, and maybe you're right, maybe Son will be um, the 24th team of the season player if he gets one. But what people are forgetting is th this year it is going to be different for team of the season. In previous years, EA have dropped most consistent first and then Premier League second for I think three years in a row now. However, this year, unless they drop Premier League team of the season tomorrow. It's not going to be Premier League se team of the season second, which means the entire setup is just changed. Um, you know, because we've had most consistent, and EA have tweeted and told us categorically this is factual. We are getting brand new team of the seasons every Tuesday and every Friday, all the way throughout. Which means if the team of the season this Tuesday, in my opinion, it's going to be the lower leagues from the English leagues. It's going to be the Championship Division One and Division Two in the English leagues, and then Friday Premier League will come. But let's say they do the rest of the world team of the season tomorrow for a change. That means Friday it could be the Calcio A team of the season or the La Liga team of the season. Um, which means the Premier League team of the season might not be the second one. Which means there might be a situation where the player of the month son and the team of the season son, should he get one, actually might not be together at the same time. Um, so there's that to consider as well. But yeah, I mean, my, my opinion is... I would love Son to get a team of the season card because I, I've thoroughly enjoyed his card throughout the whole year. What was he like, the second or third player only to get a team of the season, uh, to get a player of the month? So I've, I've, I've played over like 800 games with Son all in this year um, and I, I just I thoroughly enjoy his card. So for me, from selfish reasons only, I really hope he gets a team of the season card just because I want it. Um, with that being said, if he didn't, we're going to get so many great players. I'm going to have forgotten about him by the time the Premier League's team of the season comes out if he didn't get one. Last year, Gareth Bale was a shoo-in for team of the season, in my opinion. He was one of the best players in the league by a long way, and he still got snuffed, and I didn't understand why. But uh, EA do the craziest things. What you've got to remember is EA, EA, the best 11 you can't refute, right? Because the Premier League actually, um, actually make the actually make the, the best 11 and I think EA would typically follow that guideline but as we know now it's a 24 man squad which means um, which means there is scope for EA to put in anyone they want for any reason they want and if they feel like Hyung Min Son will sell more packs than Felipe Coutinho they will put in Hyung Min Son in team of the season and it's that simple you've got to remember at the end of the day it's a business and uh, they'll do what they want and what they need to. What's also interesting, guys, is the Premier League, have re they, they put out a tweet that really re reads, the nominations are in for the EA Sports FIFA Premier League Player of the Season for 2016-2017. Now, obviously, um, Deli Ali and Kante won Player of the Year, 
which I understand was actually for just the year of 2016-17, not for the season. So there is going to be seemingly a special F SBC for player of the season, um, which is crazy because it's going to be an incredible player. It's probably going to be Hazard, right? But the options are um, Deli Ali, Azpilicueta, Hazard, Lukaku, Sanchez, Kane, Vertonghen and Kante. So those are the eight players that could win it. Um, Hyung Min Son, interestingly, isn't there. So you would argue that if these eight are in the player of the season award nominees, these are eight guaranteed team of the seasons. Now we know Vertonghen's already a team of the season and he will most definitely be one of the 24 in the Premier League. He will be a re-release. It's just the way EA do it. I think it's stupid, but he will be there. So we are going to be getting Sanchez, Kane, Lukaku, Kante, Deli Ali, Azpilicueta, and Eden Hazard as guaranteed team of the seasons, which I find to be awesome because it means that we're going to have... It's team of the season Premier League is just going to be great. But in terms of the Son team of the season, I don't know. Leading on from that, leading on from that, um, Rando Randomo Jr. said, uh, Hey Nep and viewers, do you think that Alex Hunter could be the 24th EPL team of the season, obviously making him the winnable card. I know that a lot of us thought he had be, would be used more. Maybe this is a time considering showing he was getting a team of the season card and it is the end of FIFA when EA don't care or as much as a start about us winning cards as shown with Royce or Bamiyang last year. Thoughts? So in the journey, Alex Hunter does hold a team of the season card uh, or maybe a team of the year card. I can't remember exactly what. I'm, I was very, very surprised that EA have done nothing with Alex Hunter at all this year. I, I like the, It's card is trash. Like, I know it's like a reward for completing it and it's not supposed to be like an OP player. But as the progression of cards have got so good over the year, why not bump Alex Hunter up every now and then? Just, you know, for special occasions. Why not give him a screamer boost when the screamer cards come out? Why not give him a foot birthday card boost when the foot birthday cards come out? Why not give him like a team of the season boost when a team of the season card comes out? That sort of stuff would be amazing. I would love to see... Um, the Alex Hunter just get upgraded to a team of the season version. So everyone that has him now has a team of the season version of Alex Hunter. I think that would be amazing. Um, if EA did a team of the season Alex Hunter, whether it be a winnable or just a, an upgrade for the card that you have in your club anyway, I, I think that would be big. I, I, think that, I think EA would get a lot of kudos for that. I think people would be like, wow, that's amazing. Like They didn't have to do it. They did it for nothing. And they've, they've appeased their player base. It's something that the players would genuinely want to see. And it would mean literally nothing to EA to do it. So, um, yeah, I would love to see an Alex Hunter team of the season. And I would love to see a Hyung Min Son team of the season. Whether or not we do see those or not, I don't know. Now, guys, I was playing some good FIFA. I lost one game. Um, I think I was 12-2 and two at the end of all of this. Um, I did lose one game. I lost the one game 2-1. And um, in general, I've just I've enjoyed playing with these teams, man. I, like, look at the teams I'm using. This 4-4-2 team here. This is the second new team of this episode. Um, and I was using that El Shirawi. I was using that Caputo card up top. By the way, he's not very good. Uh, I was using Bernadeshi at right mid, the red version of Bernadeshi. I was using that Hasawi and Al Sharani at the right back and centre back slots. And, and Hasawi was off chem, but he was a beast anyway. And I was thoroughly enjoying using uh, those cards. So uh, it's, it's interesting to me that this weekend I'm 12-2, and two, I'm not taking it seriously, actually 13-2, and two. I didn't even realise I was 13-2, and two. I go to 14-2 and two after this game, so after I win here, I become a 14-2 and two player, there have been weekends recently where I've been 14-6 and six after tryharding with my best team, and now I'm using teams with silver cards with it, my red uh, foot champion reward cards that aren't great off chem out of position with bronze team of the season cards with obscure team of the season cards and I find myself to be 14 and 2 how crazy is that it just goes to show that for me a lot of it is mentality and I know we've been over this a million and one times but it's refreshing for me to play FIFA just for the fun of playing it and not really giving a damn if I win or lose. Of course, I, I, I still try my best to win the games. It's not like I go in there trying to lose. I still want to win. But losing is, is so much easier to accept because I'm like, well, you know, I lost because look at the team. Look, uh, who cares? And I move on to the next game, not angry that I lost that last game, but just accepting the fact that, hey, it doesn't even make any difference. And it, it allows me to play a much calmer 
safer game of FIFA and, and in, in turn it's allowed me to play much better FIFA and actually enjoy my time more whilst playing FIFA. Um, I've, I've had more fun this weekend league than I have in a long time in weekend league. Even last weekend I didn't have as much fun as I had this weekend and last weekend I also didn't care. Last weekend we managed to make it to 18 wins. This weekend we're already on 14 wins after just 16 games. Last weekend I played 26 games, so who knows? I might manage to push on to gold one. I might only get to gold three and stop. I might get to gold two and stop. Who knows? Kyungmin Son makes it 4-0 in this game, guys. Of course, we are going to have a live section just after we look at the gameplay here. Once again, I did change the formation a couple of times. Uh, Caputo, really, I was disappointed in him, man. I thought he was going to be good. I thought if he is good, what I've got as an option is him and El Shirewi to get some nice links together in a team where I can then, and then, you know, start using Nengolan and Manolas and so on and so forth. Uh, for the weekend league next weekend, but Caputo, he just just wasn't great. Uh, I, I don't know what to say, he just wasn't great. But there we go, guys. We get 14 and 2 after 16 games. One of my best starts in weeks, maybe even months. Uh, but this is going to be the end of the gameplay, dudes. I will be right back as we go into the lives. Okay, guys, so we have made it to Silver 1. You would have seen briefly um, at the start of the most recent gameplay clips the team that I was using. I'm 14 and 2. Um, both games I lost. It's fair enough. I'm, you know, I'm using the teams I'm using. I'm not taking it seriously. I feel like the craziest thing is if I had my best team, I would have won both those games. But I also feel like there was a couple of games that I won because I didn't have my best team and I wasn't caring. There was one player specifically, I um, can't remember what game it was quite recently, where uh, my opponent was really, really good. And I'm at, I was just so casual. I ended up breaking him down, scoring a goal, and he rage quit straight away. Um... But I'm, I'm here, dudes. I'm, a, I'm at 14 wins, 14 and 2. <coughs> I can't complain about that at all. Um, I will most definitely move on to goal 3 now. You know, it's only 7.30 on Sunday night, so to get 4 more wins won't be a problem. If I do win 4 in a row or 4 out of 5, I'll probably push on to goal 2. <coughs> and that'll probably be about the lot for me. I don't want to start forcing game. I don't want to like have a good start like this and be 14 and 2 and be like, okay, I'm going to start forcing myself to go to gold one now because it's just not worth it for me. If I get a couple real early rage quits, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes, yeah, maybe I will. But I'm not really that interested uh, to do so. I think silver one's a pretty good reward anyway. And then, of course, silver three is the, sorry, gold three. Here's a real nice reward. So, um, the silver, the, I said this, I said this might have been earlier this video. Um, I'm recording so much right now because I'm doing all these different teams. Um, I don't know what I'm saying and what I'm not. It might have been earlier this video. The, the consumables market for silver and gold items has only dropped around 10 to 20% because people don't realize that there's a bronze consumable market out there. So when I pack a silver fitness card out of those bronze packs that I've been opening, I'll sell it straight away because for 900 coins you can't go wrong. Um, but the bronze fitness cards are like four to 500 coins. So if you're, and, and when do you ever need more than the plus 10 fitness really? Not often, right? So be vigilant guys, be vigilant with uh, buying your consumables right now because it's, it's literally cheaper for you at the moment to buy bronze cards. Uh, no, no two ways about it. So the squad that I built that we just played some games, I stopped after three games. Uh, for two reasons. Number one, because we hit silver one and I thought, hey, this is a good time to kind of like cull it and be like, okay, yeah, that's a good time to stop it. And number two, because this formation is genuinely horrendous. I used to love the 4-4-2. Back in FIFA 15 and FIFA 14, it was my go-to formation. It seemed to like have everything. There's a reason why you see only very specific formations in weekend league, and that's because the rest of them just suck. It's so hard to explain why. But I couldn't do anything with anyone in this team. It was so hard to find good passing lanes. It was so hard to do um, to, to have any sort of play style. Like you can't play on the wings because your wingers aren't far enough up. Um, but then you can't play through the middle because the the two centre mids are literally in, in just on an island. It's it's like I don't know. It's it's the weirdest thing. It's so hard to explain uh, in detail. Um, but I still managed to win two of the three games. The one game that I did lose, I went 2-0 down to two quick fire goals, uh, fair goals, you know, scored a couple of nice goals, but then he just tried to dead the game after that. Uh, once I did get it back to 2-1, he really deaded the game. I think he went five at the back, part of the bus, and, and he just kind of like stood still with the ball, and, and that's a very fair tactic, especially on a Sunday night when you're trying to get that extra win here or there. No complaints about it. I'm, I mean, I'm using this team, you know. Fortun f funnily enough, this is actually a team that I could use for the tournament this week. So I have got three silvers in here. I didn't even realise that. If I just get rid of the golds on the bench, this this team is viable to go in. But I don't I don't like it. Uh, Caputo is terrible. Um, I know I've got sniper on him. 
and not Hunter. And I know Hunter would give him 98 pace and uh, 90 shooting. Uh, the reason why I went for Sniper is because at 87 pace, that's actually quite considerable. Um, so I wanted to boost his shooting specifically, but also his dribbling. But it just he didn't get involved in the games. He was really easily bullied off the ball. The two goals that he scored were both pretty tragic. Uh, one of them was a deflection off the goalkeeper, and I think the other one was just a little tap-in. It wasn't a very good finish at all. Um, he's, he's not the best. And, and if you were thinking to yourself, oh, maybe Caputo will be a good dude for me this weekend league, I would say don't get him. Is he 15k? 14k? I, I would say don't get him so much so that I'm actually going to list him up for 13 for 13,500. And if he sells, I'll take that tiny bit of profit. Actually, no, let me wait until people need the silvers because he might go up to 15, 16k. That'd be silly. Um, Bernadeschi was pretty decent. I quite enjoyed playing with him, even though he's only on seven chemistry or what is it, six chemistry? Yeah, seven chemistry. I thought he was quite uh, quite enjoyable. Um, his card is very nice. Might be one that I might use a little bit more in the future. Actually, reminds me a lot of Roberto Firmino's card. And then Al Sharani, uh, I paid 10k for him uh, because of uh, how rare he is and how important he is. He's, he's cheaper now, 8k, 8.4k, 8k. When I actually bought him, I mean, there's only five on the market. I was going to say, when I actually bought him, there was only three on the market, which is why I had to pay 10k for him. Um, I don't mind that I paid 10k for him because I'll clearly be able to sell him back for seven or 8,000 minimum and he's going to be real important for me winning that uh, ruddy card. And then this dude here, I tell you what, even though he's only on eight chemistry, seven chemistry even, because I don't even have loyalty on him, he was unbelievable. I mean, like, unreal. Like, for some reason, his positioning... Um, I don't know what his position, like his um, interception status or anything, but he was just always, always in the right place. He made some insane blocks, and in general, I thought, yeah, he. I, I, I noticed him being a great defender for me, and that's rare. So uh, these two here are absolutely going to be my two players, two of my three non-goal players that go into the uh, the next week's. Um, Daily knockouts and next weekend's weekend league. 100%. They're amazing. And next week, um, in the daily knockout, nothing's there. But in the weekend league, you're you're allowed to apply one attribute card to one player. So I might use it on this dude and just boost him up to being basically a gold right back. Um, that'll be, uh, that, that could be quite interesting. But this team, guys, it was fun to use. I, again, using players I've never used before is fun. And I know I'm not using like a load of players that I've never used before. But we've got Caputo, Bernadeschi... Uh, Al Sharani and Hausawi, ha um, all brand new. And El Sharawi, I don't even use him much. I know I've got 113 games on him, but that's mostly as a sub. And then once again, Hyung Min Son is just the daddy, man. Uh, 11 games, 12 goals, 2 assists, and I think that's 6 sub appearances as well. So only 5 starts, and he's managed to get 12 goals. I would say on average, he probably scores about 2 goals every 90 minutes for me. He's, he's just unreal. I absolutely love this card, and I'm very much looking forward to trying to fit him into the weekend league team this weekend. What I'm probably going to do is get rid of your man here because he wasn't good. I'm going to put that German bro in here. Um, he's going to, the German dude is going to go in. We're going to fit Emre Chan in as well um, and to, to give this bro some, uh, some more chemistry. And uh, some, one way or another, we'll get him on eight chemistry and we'll have these two dudes in at right back as well. Like I said, we might do use like uh, Al Sommer or something like that. But uh, I wanted to show this team off, guys, because I, I thoroughly enjoyed this defensive unit. Uh, if you guys were thinking, should I invest the coins in uh, uh, Hasawi? Do it. Do it now whilst he's still relatively cheap. Because if you look at the other like beast centre-backs that are going to be used this weekend league... Um, is he up to, no, so he's down to 27k, 26k, that is a steal, guys, honestly, it's a bargain, I know I paid 19,000, um, he's 26k, 25k, if I see one for like 20,000 coins, I'll buy another one and sell him on, no, 26,000, 24,000, yeah, 24,000 is still alright, um, like, if you look at Amati, he's like 120k, this dude is so good, he's absolutely worth it, in my opinion. Now I'm going to end off the stream, the stream, the video dudes opening a few more bronze packs. I've got so many bronze consumables in the club now. It might be time for me to stop. I've packed like 10 of these uh, t bronze team of the seasons, maybe 11 of these bronze team of the seasons. Uh, well, 11 individuals. I've got a few duplicates that I've had to discard as well. Um, and it might be a case now where I'm like, okay, I've got so many consumables saved up. I'm gonna. I need to keep some coins for the now and not for the future. Obviously, me. Every time I open one of these bronze packs, it's an investment for the future, and I'll show you why. Um, because for right now, we get ourselves uh, so a couple of players that we'll just send into the club. 
So we get ourselves one squad fitness card that will eventually sell for a thousand coins. We get two fitness cards that we can use. We get a training card that we can use. And we get, oh, we get a Wolfsburg player that will sell for two to three hundred coins and we discard for 122 coins. So that's a, that's a pack where we break even. If I sell the fitness card at a thousand coins, if I wait and sell it for 1200 coins, obviously I make a considerable amount of coins. Next up, we'll open four more. We'll go down to 30,000 coins. So in this pack, no, uh, no team of the season player, unfortunately. Um, but we get, again, a squad fitness card, an individual fitness card, a couple of training cards, which are always nice. And we get ourselves, uh, a, I mean, we get this. Isn't this guy a little bit price hyped because Nick loves him? 500 coins there. I mean, it looks like it will sell for 200, so I'll list him on. The French Rare will always sell for 200 as well. So with the, other, the next fitness card that we got again, um, you know, that's a pack that we may profit from. Uh, we'll open the next one. Hopefully we just get a team of the season. It would be nice. It would be nice to get two. In, on stream yesterday, I got two in a pack. It was brilliant. Let's, get, let's try and get three in a pack. So we get four players there. No squad fitness card. This is actually a, this is, this is a brutal pack. That's one that we won't even profit on. Um, but overall, over the grand scheme of things, you definitely make money um, through opening these bronze packs. It just depends when you want to realise that profit. We're getting, no, we're getting no luck with these team of the seasons. Come on, give me one team of the season. Uh, where are my fitness cards? Wow, that is a horrendously unlucky pack. This guy will be worth something. And that is it. Wow. Um, that was pretty pretty diabolical. So we might, might be able to squeeze two more out of this anyway. Let's see if we can get a team of the season. No team of the season in this pack. We'll do one more just because I feel like the next one is going to offer me a team of the season. Right, finally we get something worth selling. The, heal, the Anchor Healing card. That will eventually sell for 900 to 1,000. The Training card. That will actually sell for three to 400 coins. Uh, for some reason, uh, they, they still sell pretty good. Nothing really there worth selling. And then last but not least, guys, come on. Give me a pack worth shouting about. Give me so, give me a block. Blue, no blue. Silver, no silver. So uh, unless I get some squad fitnesses in here, that actually was a bad representation. It was. It was a bad representation of these bronze packs and how effective that they can be. But with that being said, guys, this is the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.